Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Puzzles by Lisa on Instagram and I have a Ravensburger collection that I think you know already. Uh, but today I'm going to show you all the Villainous collection by Ravensburger. Actually we have a few things to look at. So there were three batches of Disney Villainous and then one batch of Marvel Villainous. So we're going to see all of them and uh, yeah, they're all super cool. So the first batch actually happened in 2019 uh, and I think that is having the most kind of known characters actually um, really really cute. So the first one you're going to see here is, is Captain Hook. Uh, really really nice. So the whole point of this is that you can see different characters inside the frames and then there is Hook and then there is like the special kind of thing that makes him interesting you'd see that actually like this kind of like whatever that is statue uh or something is actually like showing up in each one of them by the way on the back you can see all six from the 2019 collection um i do want to say this is actually very dark puzzles so they maybe look actually nice but you do need to know that it's actually like they're really dark to do and there is a lot of those frames, so you need to really take a good look on how the frame look like when you do that. Um, I mean, I, I love doing that, but I just really want you to know that it's really, really dark and not that easy. And by the way, there is, of course, the Villainous Game by Ravensburger, which I haven't played, so I can't say that I know exactly what it is, but it's the same characters and actually like a very well-known uh, game by Ravensburger. Uh, the second one we're going to look at from 2019 is Maleficent. And again, you can see here all the different characters. Um, so, yeah, you can see here all the different characters. And you can see the Maleficent, uh, you know, statue as well. Uh, it's very green puzzle. But as I said, like, you know, it is actually quite dark and it's really, really nice. You can see the fairies. You can see the king uh and some of them are so dark that it's actually hard to see when you're doing the puzzle what you are actually looking at until you kind of get it together uh next one that was the first one i've ever done is uh the right queen uh queen of hearts and here you could see again that red thing here there's quite a lot of red in this puzzle uh, and you can see Alice and the cat and the rabbit and everything else. It's like really, really cool. And then the next one is Ursula. Here, I'm going to put it closer to you. You can see Flounder, quite colorful, and Eric. Uh, there is actually, it's interesting that there is not a lot of Ariel in this uh, whole kind of like puzzle. But again, the puzzle is about Ursula. So it's actually like what you see. And then the next one from that series is Jafar, which you could see I didn't do it yet. Shame on me. I need to do it. Uh, but that's the next one in the 2019. And then the last one from 2019 is King John. So you could see that too. Yeah. And again, you can see in the back all six of the 2019. And now we're going to move to another year okay so we are going to continue with six puzzles from 2020 uh we're going to basically start with this one which is Hades so again you can see here the Hades uh and then you could see they kind of changed it a little bit there is not that many frames and there is more overlap between the puzzles you'd see that if you actually look at the back there it doesn't show the six puzzles that came in 2020 but it does show the, the previous puzzle that we've seen with Ursula. So you could see the difference like on how the frames are. I mean, I can just put it side by side. You can see that here each frame is separate. Each frame looks different. And here there is kind of like more photos than there were in the past. And you might be amazed on like what they did on the 2022 one. Next one here is Evil Queen. I think an amazing one. Um, so again, you can see the frames are a bit different than what they were before. This one is a tiny bit more similar to what it was 
before that but again on the back you can see Ursula not anything that is actually like from the 2020 collection and then the next one is red again you can see that oh, hopefully again still 2020 collection and Yzma Those are kind of cartridges that are a bit less of the regular villains. Dr. Facilia. My cute movies, but that's different a little bit. And last one from 2020 is a favorite scar. By the way, some of those actually like exist in small boxes being sold by Target for the most part. I like the boxes, so I, I mean, I don't look at them, I just like them, how they look in my collection, so I buy only large uh, boxes, uh, especially if there is no other choice, maybe I will, but I waited forever to get actually those to be in the large boxes and not in the Target small boxes, but they're cheaper, and they're the same puzzle inside, and the same quality made in Germany, so if you want to go with the smaller boxes, you're totally welcome to do that. So... Now we're moving to the 2022 collection, very beautiful collection. Um, I want to say that you'd see that most of them are very, very different than what was the 2019 and 2020. Uh, starting with Lady Termaine, the mother of Cinderella. And unfortunately, again on the back, they only put Corella de Ville. They didn't actually put the whole series that you can get from 2022. This one is the easiest one of the 2022 collection. It has very vivid colors. It's not dark at all. And it's quite easy to do. And I think it's the most beautiful one from all the villains, actually. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, the next one is Pete. You can see they got rid of all the frames. Uh, almost. Uh, even Corella, you would see only one frame. Uh, but not not all the frames. A lot of overlap between the like the photos. Pretty cool. Different style. Um, then we have the Horn King. You could see that that's actually very very dark, and you could see that um, it's quite tough colors. So yeah, different. No frames though. No frames doesn't mean it's easy. It's actually harder. So here's Corella. She has one frame. <laughs> and then she has those strings actually like attached. This was not an easy one. Uh, but I'm trying to think which one was the hardest. The Corella wasn't the hardest. But you'll see other two. I think none of them was really easy. So if you expect it to be easy, it's not. Still kind of dark. Still very... Lots of the same color. This tone was beautiful. Not easy at all. Again, lots of brown, lots and lots of brown. It doesn't maybe look like that here, but it is exactly <laughs> lots of brown. Um, so easy to start and then it like becomes harder. That's basically like my take on it. And as you can see, no frames, no frames. But it, like you'd see that type of connections that take one color kind of merged with the other. It's actually making it really hard and we'll see that in a moment in the Marvel villainous so even more. So the last one from the 2022 Disney collections is basically Mother Gothel. And again, Mother Gothel here is not easy. Not a lot of frames. I mean, even those are not actually frames. They're just kind of like slight uh, things and you can't differentiate between them. And it's a beautiful puzzle, but it is quite dark. Live green in this case. Uh, but it was great to do and I kept it like together to see if I'm gonna do a photo of like all of them together at some point but I didn't finish all of them yet I still have two from the 2022 collection and from the past unfortunately I actually took apart a bunch of the puzzles so it'd be hard to put it in one photo so the last pile that we've got is the Marvel collection and this is also from 2022 uh, so this one is Ultron now I really wanted to pay attention like how those you know pieces are kind of collaged together there is like a picture with some small kind of like lightning frame around it 
and then it actually merges with the rest of the picture. That makes it ultra hard to do those puzzles. I mean, they might look to you like they're easy, but they are not. I've done two of those and definitely it took me longer than I thought. At the back, you could see one of the photos from like the Marvel 2022 collection. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you the ones that I've done, which I would consider actually, like I thought they are the easiest ones. So it's going to be tough. The next one here is Taskmaster. Again, same lightning, great stuff, but it's not easy. And then Killmonger, very, very purple. And then the 2022 Thanos. That one I thought was going to be easy because it was very colorful, but it wasn't easy at all, actually. Maybe it was just a tiny bit easier than the other one that I'm going to show you in a moment, but it's not easy. Like, really, those are quite work. So the last one that I did was Hila. And then she was very green and she was much, much, much harder than I thought. I thought it's going to be quite easy and it wasn't. So still very recommended, but just if you'll know that this is not a set of easy puzzles. And so that was our villainous collection so far. And let's see if Ravensburg are going to continue with that and still have some villains to actually do. I mean, I'm trying to think which villains I would like to see in the next Villainous Connection, uh, but I have to say they are doing a very good job covering all of them. Um, so again, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And if you want any special collections, just let me know and I'll do my best to try to actually address those. Um, thank you for watching. And if you'll stay a moment, you will be able to see some of those that I've have done so far. And yeah, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.